Hello everyone, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. The moment we've all been waiting for has arrived. Here I have the latest, final, optimized Lineage OS build. Of course, we're talking about the final version for Android 7.1.2 Nougat. We also have the August security patches and a lot more goodies. Let me take you through the installation process first and afterwards we'll talk about the ROM as well. So you will need TWRP recovery, the latest one preferably. You'll need to boot up in TWRP. You'll have the download link in the description below. You'll also need to download the zip file, this latest stable 7 version, but also final version of optimized Lineage OS 14.1. And as always, you'll also need the latest OpenGFs package. 4 ARM 32-bit processors, 7.1 version. Before going through the installation process, you'll need to go to wipe, advanced wipe and select Dalvik, system, data and cache. Do not touch the internal storage, otherwise all the zip files that you've copied will be deleted. Swipe to wipe, I've already done this, so I won't do it once again, then go to install select this latest version and swipe to confirm flash. The Aroma installer will now launch. Here we have version 7, September 2017. This is the final version, so if you are on a previous build, you should definitely go for it. You have a lot of changes, security patches, Alucard kernel updates, Bluetooth fixes, and a lot more updates as you can see right here in the change log. You should proceed by clicking next, install the ROM. I will usually pick the Alucard kernel because it's much more optimized than the stock one. Clear the profiles. I'll also add SuperSU usually, no changes and no changes here as well, I like the Trebuchet launcher. And last but not least, you have the two camera apps that you can choose from, the Mi Explorer, File Manager and the Setup Wizard. If you click here, the ROM will install, I will skip through these parts. After the installation is complete, you will be thrown back to the TWRP, swipe to unlock, wipe cache and Dalvik, swipe, afterwards go to install once again, select the latest OpenGS package that you've downloaded earlier and copy it to the internal memory, swipe to confirm flash and afterwards once again wipe cache and Dalvik, like here. Now you're ready to reboot the device into system. Here we have the latest stable 7 wallpaper. I will decrease the brightness so you can see it more clearly. The ROM is incredibly fast, stable and battery friendly. I've been using it for a couple of days now and it definitely is daily driver material. As I've shown you before, you have Android 7.1.2 along with the August security updates. I'll also show you the usual benchmarks. So here we have Antutu, a score of about 40,000 which is way more than any previous version. Take note, I haven't overclocked or underclocked this device. 
so it has the completely stock settings from the Alucard kernel in Geekbench on CPU we have a score of 700 and 1600 similar to the previous builds and in compute we have a score of 1300 which is way better than a stock Samsung Galaxy S4 of course as always take these benchmark results with a pinch of salt as they may not reflect the actual performance of the device what you have here is a very minimalistic approach so you have only the basic apps along with the apps that I've installed with the OpenG apps package such as Gmail, Google, Google Now, Play Store and so forth the apps that you'll see installed initially are the Estwix which will require super user rights I will grant them this is a fantastic app you can do basically whatever you want with the device you can overclock and underclock the CPU you can alter the CPU voltages fine-tune the CPU by selecting a different governor CPU hot plugging thermal management GPU overclocking and underclocking along with touch interface settings input output memory cron tasks LED settings of course you can change the amplification in the headphones or speaker you can alter the charging of the device on USB and on a power brick as well and a lot other tweaks make sure you know what you're altering because this may bring instabilities in settings we also have some tweaks so super su s tweaks and you can get the extra apps also from here as i've told you before the phone is lightning fast the camera apps both work perfectly and without any noticeable lag Play Store also is instant switching between apps is also really fast battery management is way improved compared to the previous versions this one really is daily driver material I'm not sure if Samsung could have done a better job if Android Nougat would have been released for this device we have a very good average memory use and a lot of free RAM this is not the case with stock Samsung ROMs all in all I'd say this is the go-to version if you'd like to update your Samsung Galaxy S4 to Android Nougat we will definitely have an Android Oreo optimized lineage OS build for our beloved S4 but as of now this is the best version and I strongly suggest you to update to this one if you're on a previous optimized Lineage OS build be assured that when a Lineage OS 15 build comes up I will post it right away this was all for today I'd like to thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video please do press the like button and if you'd like to see similar videos in the future also press the subscribe button which will be displayed in the bottom left part here i wish you a great day this was mind tech savvy until next time